All right, you guys, welcome back to class. This is my final hour, and this is going to be a grammar hour. We are going to be talking about <clears throat> about uh, uh, present perfect tense, or the present perfect tense, okay? Now, um, this is going to be uh, an intermediate, um, intermediate, uh, to, you know, semi-advanced, semi, semi -advanced, d depending on, on your level and what you would consider intermediate. Um, but yeah, uh, anything really in the present tense, I, I would consider a uh, high, high beginner to, uh, to intermediate level. Um, so we're going to, we're going to be learning about um, how to create the, uh, the past participle uh, in, uh, in some cases, and then, and then work on the uh, present, uh, uh, present perfect. Okay, and it's really a combination of a couple things. So we're going to learn about that, and then uh, go through a lot of different uh, uh, different examples and, and things like that. Okay, so first off, let's check and see who we got in here so far. We've got Bruno. Hi there. Welcome back. How you doing, man? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> and you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Doing good. So yeah, what what time is it now over there in Brazil? Uh, two a.m. About two a.m. That's not too bad. Yeah, Not I have to bad. work in six hours, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna are you gonna crash after this class, or, or are you planning on staying up later? I guess I'm going to sleep after it. <laughs> All right, cool, man. It depends right, cool. on the next class. I don't know who is going to give it, and if I really like it, but maybe I give it a try. Um, it looks like you've got uh, vocabulary with Martin. Martin's a stud. Yeah, he's, I don't he's know cool many people here. This is my first night. Uh, actually, I had the first class and then those three counting this one. So my first class. Oh, really? Class. Yep. <laughs> ah, okay. Very cool. So um, did you, now did you get a uh, premium membership with, uh, with Verbling and that's how you started with them? Uh, not yet, but I'm going to buy it just uh, tomorrow, I guess, because I had two free reservations, I guess. Oh, gotcha. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Well, cool. Welcome, uh, welcome to Verbling. It's good to have you here. Thanks. <laughs> All right. And we also have, uh, now, your name is Effie. Effie, how are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. And you? I'm doing good. Now, uh, Effie, where are you from? I'm from Ecuador. From Ecuador. Excellent. We had a, a guy from Ecuador last hour. Uh, what part of Ecuador are you from? From Quito. From Quito. From the capital. Okay, great. And, uh, and what do you do? Are you a student? Yes, I'm a student uh, in the college. Okay, and what are you studying? Um, in um, the Central University uh, of Ecuador. Okay, and, and what uh, what is uh, your degree? What are you studying there? Um, I study economics. Ah, very nice. So economics, that's a difficult subject. Well, uh, good. Uh, yeah. It's good to have you. It's good to have you here in class. All right, let's uh, let's check out who else what? we have. Uh, it's good to have you here in class. Welcome to class. Uh, All right, let's uh, let's uh, check check out who else we have. Uh, we have uh, Moni. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing well. Now, last class, we learned that you enjoy drawing uh, enemies, okay, bad guys. Now, you also said that you enjoy singing. What uh, What do you like to sing? I didn't hear you. What yeah, sorry. Mean? There we go. Okay, so, uh, Effie, I needed to mute you because I could hear you typing. It was really loud. All right, so uh, Moni, uh, uh, we learned last uh, last hour that you uh, you enjoy uh, you enjoy um, drawing, okay? But uh, uh, you also said that you enjoy singing. What do you like to sing? Mm, 
I like to sing your songs to uh, Celine Dion, um, Abel. Okay, nice. Can you uh, can you sing as high as she can? No. Can, you said that you like to sing Adele. Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you clearly. Uh, yes, uh, you said that you like to sing Adele songs. Yes. Yes, and my question is, can you sing as high as she can? Mm, I hope so, but I won't try. <laughs> yeah, because when, when I try and sing Adele, I have to sing really, really high. She sings really high for me. She has a pretty voice. Yes, she does, but she smokes too many cigarettes, and so she probably won't be singing for very much longer. Yes. Yeah, but yes, I do, I do enjoy her songs very much. Me too. Excellent. Well, cool. Thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see who else we have. Uh, we've got... Uh, now, Heba, it looks like you have, you have entered in, into class two times. Keva, are you there? How come she entered the class two times? I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't look like uh, one is working. I know when I first came here and I was trying to. Uh, I was uh, like my first session as a teacher. I joined in and I didn't understand how everything was working, and so I joined in like three times. So when I finally got in the class. <laughs> There was like three of me, and then the rest of the students. I was like, "Oh crap! I got to change this. Something went wrong." Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was crazy. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's see now. Keva, is your uh, is your microphone muted? Yeah, I have a problem. Oh, is there we are. Hi, hi. How are you? Welcome back to class, Heba. I'm fine. Sorry, I have a problem. Is my connection? Sure, sure. No problem. No problem. Uh, so, uh, Heba, uh, what uh, what type of things interest you? What are your hobbies? What do you like to do for fun? Um, reading. Uh huh. Music. Cool. Yeah, I love to play violin. Uh, what do you like to do? Violin. Okay. Uh, you play the violin. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, the violin is a beautiful instrument. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see who else we have. We have, uh, let's see, Jorge. Jorge, how are you? Good. Is this my buddy Jorge from uh, Aguascaliente? Yeah, it is. Me. Awesome. How you doing, man? Uh, doing good. How about you, teacher? I'm doing okay. Uh, how uh, uh, how did you start off uh, Holy Week? Are you uh, doing any? Are you working this week or uh, like half the week or anything like that? No, we're working uh, the whole week. I I guess. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I work. Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna work even uh, Friday and and Sunday, but or uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I was going to take off Friday and Saturday, but we'll see. My wife is trying to uh, convince me to do so. Um, and maybe take a – because the, the beach here, we haven't been to any of the beaches in Costa Rica yet um, just because I'm a workaholic. And uh, and so she's like, ah, you should take a day off. And then the beaches are like an hour, hour and a half away. We'll take a bus and go out to the beach. I was like, ah, maybe. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, we'll – because whenever we do that, then it's you gotta get a hotel, or you know, it's just the whole spending money part. I'm re I'm really I'm really cheap, I'm really cheap. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, what are your what are your plans? What what do you have going on this week? Um, I don't even have no plans. I think we're we're gonna work uh, the whole week. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you around here on Verbling. Okay. Yeah, I will be here. All right, man. Great. Uh, we also have uh, Jada. How are you, Jada? Hi, teacher. I'm very well. And you? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. And uh, Jada, what do you have planned for this week? Oh, for this week, 
was busy because I had to work. Oh, you are you today. working all? Okay, so you work today? Yes. Oh no! Why did you have to work today? That's crazy. Yes, but I I have to. At the end of the each month, uh -huh. we have to do the the magazine, the new edition. Ah, of the, yes. The the next month, so we have to re request the information and organize because the magazine um, had to be in the in the first week for uh -huh. its sale and distribution. So sure. Yeah. So, uh, do you have to work this next week as well? You don't have you you're, you don't get uh, a vacation. No. Uh oh. No. Me you're you're, you're in my I'm same not sure. boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. All right. Yeah. But it's well, okay. Most, okay. All right. Very There's cool. One question, Chad. Sure. What's up? Uh, this next week is uh, vacation for you. Uh, no, I don't get vacations. Okay, um, it's because it's not vacation here in Brazil. I know my girlfriend is in Portugal, and it's vacation there. One week vacation for Easter, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's uh, it, it would be um, it would be Holy Week or uh, La Semana Santa, and uh, and so they uh, they celebrate uh, this whole week. And most people, well, in most cases, they work up until like Wednesday. And then they take off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And a lot of people in Central and South America go to the beaches and they and they have a good time. Okay. Yeah. We, um, what's that? We just get a Friday off, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's uh, <laughs> in the United States, we don't get any days off. Okay, I feel better yeah, now. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we, we don't we don't we don't do that. But here on Verbling, I work as a contractor. So if I don't work. Uh, if I don't work any hours, then I don't get paid, and so and I don't have any vacation days or anything like that. I'm a I'm a contractor, right? Yeah. Um, which is it has its pluses and minuses because um, I can I can create my schedule however I want to. I That's can take a vacation. I can take a vacation whenever I want to as well. They yeah. they they only contract me to work five hours a week, um, and uh, and so as long as I'm working five hours. I'm okay, but I work about 50, so <laughs> that's that's what I do. Uh, anyway, very cool. Well, Jala, I hope you are able to uh, relax a little bit. I know the magazine is coming out shortly, uh, but I do hope that you get to relax a little bit and you don't have to work next Sunday as well. Yes, I'm going to try. <laughs> because well, very... it's important for my children um, are on vacation. Sure. Yet, but Yes, Definitely. For Easter, but yeah, there is no same for me. But I tend to be relaxed. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm glad that you were mm -hmm. able to uh, to come to class tonight. It's good to see you again, Thank Java. You. Good to see you. All too. right. And let's see. Effie's back, and we've got the last person is Andrew. Andrew, how you doing? Hey, Chad. Fine, just fine. Haven't seen you for ages. How is it, man? For ages. For ages. <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Welcome, yes. welcome back to class. Yes, I've got a question. How many years is average vacation in the United States? For example, uh, when I when I used to work for an oil company, I had I had. 65 days vacation per year. What? Yes. 65 it, days? Yes, yes. My, you had you know, two months? Yes. It, 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 it's, not, it's not so long vacation. As for my sister, uh, she works like a like director. No, she, she works like... She works in police, you know. She's in director police, but I yeah. can't say it like Okay. Yeah. No. She's uh, like the head inspector or something like that. Or yes. Yeah, chief yes. And, she, and, like and her vacation is eighty-nine days per year. Eighty-nine. Yes. And if uh, and when she or I, okay, when she doesn't work these fifty-nine years, they pay they pay her money for eighty-nine days. Yes. Holy it's, cow! It's paid, yeah. 
That's ridiculous. Okay, so let me tell you how it works in the United States. This is probably probably why we're a fairly productive country. Um, you get uh, uh, and when you start working in most jobs, you have to wait ninety days. So you wait ninety days until any benefits are even uh, uh, given to you. Okay, um, and in most cases, you get uh, you get probably um, one week vacation. So seven seven days um, in, after your first year, and every every uh, fifteen days that you work, you earn uh, like three point three hours. Okay, of the of that time. All right. Um, of the vacation, yeah, three point five hours. Yeah, it's like three point three or three point five hours of that vacation. So every fifteen days, or however it would it would be divided up into, um, uh, and so you get like a week of vacation. Sometimes, and then maybe maybe three or four sick days. So if you call in sick, then then uh, anyway. So um, in, yeah, uh, in other com companies, like uh, I worked uh, I worked in a company. Uh, I was a manager. I was an operations manager there, and they automatically gave me two weeks. Okay, two weeks vacation, uh, four sick days, and then, um, but that that was it. Okay, and uh, I, I I could after I think five years they would give me another another week of vacation, something like that. I think uh, at the most my dad has ever gotten, and, and he had been working at a place for like ten years, ten ten maybe twelve years, something like that. It was like four weeks, four weeks vacation, but. 89 days, three months of vacation, that's unheard of. No one gets three months of vacation unless here you're in, a, a school teacher. That's crazy. Uh, here in Brazil, we have uh, 30 days vacation each year of work. What? Yeah. Holy cow. Paid vacation. Mandatory, right? Uh, that's yep. what you get. Holy yep. cow. Wow. <laughs> Pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah. So we don't. Uh, um, that's that's that, it's pretty pretty unheard of. Yeah, uh, but you know, Chad, I I can explain why I had 65 days uh, vacation per year because I used to work in the north part of Russia. You uh -huh. know, people who people who work uh, not in the north part of Russia usually they have uh, 28 days per per year. Oh wow! Yes, now, it's like you benefits, were, you know. It's just like benefits sure. if you if you work in in the north parts of the country. Yeah, I imagine it's just freezing cold there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Se se seven months, seven months per year, uh, it's snowy. Wow, um, I would I would imagine uh, yeah. But you uh, when you were working there, uh, did you work like uh, fifteen days on and uh, you know seven days off, something like that? No, uh, I worked um, since Monday to Friday. Oh, okay. How many how many hours a day were you working? Eight hours. Oh, that's not bad. I'd do that. That's easy. Cool. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Forty hours per week. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, you guys. Well, uh, this hour. Oh, let's see. We got some new people in. Hold on one second. We have uh, Zahara. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Excellent. It's yeah. good Good to see you again. Yeah, now, you. let me see if I can remember this because we went over this coffee logo last time. That uh, yeah. Yes, you're from uh, Pakistan, but you're not living there. Um, yes. Are you uh, – you're living in – Saudi goodness. Arabia. Yeah, that's what it was. Saudi Arabia. I was gonna. I was gonna guess Syria. I was like, no, I think it was a, it was a, a country that has two names. So, yes, yeah, Saudi Arabia. Uh, very cool. So how's how's everything going? Alhamdulillah, very everything is going fine. Great. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Thank you. And let's see. We also have, I think, uh, Nestor. Nestor, how are you? Nestor, can you hear me okay? Not so much. Okay, make sure that your microphone is not muted. All right, you guys, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into our lesson. Okay, uh, the first uh, first part we're going to be looking at is uh, we're going to discuss or learn about how to create the 
uh, present perfect. This link is located right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chat box. Okay, I'll put it in the Google chat as well. So if you're hanging out there, you can grab it. All right, when uh, you open it up, this is what it looks like. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna read through what this is yes. briefly, and then uh, get into uh, get into some examples. So get into some practices. All right, uh, let's start off with uh, let's see. We're gonna start off on the right hand side uh, with uh, Zahara. Uh, let me have you read um, at the very beginning where it says form. <laughs> Okay, let me have you read that form, so uh, that information, as well as this paragraph, okay? Go ahead and read that, please. Okay. Just read. We use the present perfect to say that action happened at the unspecific time before now. Uh, the exact time is not important. You cannot use the present perfect with a with specific time. Expressions such as uh, yesterday, one year ago, uh, last week, when I saw a child, when I, I lived in Japan at that moment, that day, one day, etc. We can use the present perfect with the un unspecific expressions such as ever, never, once, may, time, several times, before, so far, already, yet, etc. Okay, okay, just tell there. Thank you. So you cannot use present perfect with specific time expressions. All right. Um, we can use it with unspecific expressions all right and those are the lists of what we can we can use now um, this is the form okay has or have plus the past participle okay here's here's our example the past participle for see would be seen okay it would not be saw Okay, that is past tense or simple past. The past participle would be seen. So we say, you have seen the movie many times. Okay, have you seen that movie many times? Okay, in question form. And you have not seen the movie many times. All right, so let's, uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, some different times of when we use this. All right, let's go to Java. Let me have you read uh, topic one, and I'll have you read uh, all of that until you get to topic two, please. Okay. You can use a present perfect to describe your experience. It is like saying, I have the experience of... You can also use this tense to say that you have never had a certain experience. The present perfect is not used to describe a specific event. Examples, I have been to France. This sentence means that you have had the experience of being in France. Maybe you have been there once or several times. I have been to France three times. You can add the number of times at the end of the sentence. I have never been on to France. This sentence means that you have not had the experience of going to France. I think I have seen that movie before. He has never traveled by train. John has studied two foreign languages. And letter A, have you ever met him? Letter B, no, I have not met him. Good. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Nestor. Nestor, can you hear me? Who? Yes. Uh, hi, Nestor. How are you? Fine. Good. Now, Nestor, when you speak, uh, uh, I cannot understand you very well. Uh, your microphone has a, a, um, a, a vibration in it, and I have a hard time understanding you. Um, have you checked to see if it's plugged in correctly? Uh, what? I didn't understand. 
Um, well, let's let's try it out. Let's uh, let's see if it uh, gets better. All right. So, Nestor, let me have you read topic number two, please. Yes. Okay. We often use the present perfect to talk about change that has happened over a period of time. Examples. You have grown since the last time I saw you. The government has become more interested in arts education. Japanese has become one of the most popular courses at the university since the Asian Studies program was established. established. My English has really improved since I moved to Australia. Good, thank you. All right, let's go to my next reader. This is for Jorge. Let me have you read uh, topic three, please. Topic three, accomplishments. We often use the present perfect to list the accomplishments of individuals and humanity. You cannot mention a specific time. Examples, man has walked on the moon. Our son has learned how to read. Doctors have cured many deadly diseases. Scientists have split the atom. Good, good. Okay, let's go to topic number four, and this is for uh, Keba. Uh, we often use the present perfect to say that an action which we expected has not been using the present perfect suggests that we are still waiting for the action to happen. Examples, James has not finished his work yet. Susan hasn't uh, mastered Japanese, but she can com communicate. Bill has still not arrived. Zarin hasn't stopped. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Effie. Effie, let me have you read topic number five, please. Effie, are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you now. Uh, yes, uh, hear go you ahead now. and, and uh, read ahead and uh, read topic read number five, topic five, please. Number five. Okay. Multiple actions at different times. We also use the present perfect to talk about several different actions we have occurred in the past at different times. Present perfect such as the process is not complete and more actions are possible. Example. The army has attacked that city five times. I had, I have four quizzes and five tests so far this semester. We have had many major problems while working on this project. She was talking to several specialists about her problems, but nobody knows why she is sick. Okay, excellent. Just till there. And let's see. I don't think we're going to get into uh, expressions with time. I think those are our basic ones. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get into our, our practices. And uh, Effie, can I have you mute your microphone? Okay, thank you, Bruno. Um, uh, we could hear we could hear it uh, uh, the 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 voice. There was an echo there. It sounds like uh, you had stopped using your headphones, and we could hear the microphone and the speakers. So, um, all right, you guys. The uh, next one we're going to open is entitled practices. And this link is right here. Okay, I just put that in the Verbling chat box. And I will put it in the uh, Google chat box as well. All right, so what this looks like when you uh, open this up exercise list. list. Yeah, it has all the, all, all the exercises we're, we're going to be working on there. Okay. And let's uh, let's start off with uh, Bruno. Okay. Bruno, this is what it uh, starts off with. 
So we, uh, we're going to go through and we're going to start off. Remember, we, we, talked about, um, we talked about how to create the, the uh, uh, present perfect. We add the word, uh, we have the word either has or have with a V plus the past participle. So this exercise, we are going to be um, uh, changing these words, uh, one, 1 through 14, okay, to simple past, and then also the past participle, okay? okay? And uh, I'd like for you to do uh, uh, numbers 2, 3, and 4, please, Bruno. Uh, sorry, two, three, and four. Yep, do numbers two, three, and four. Okay. Uh, do simple past is do and uh, did and past participle done. No, is that? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it, it would be did and done. Okay. Uh, it is it hopes it's eight and I. Not sure about the past parts for. Okay, eat and eight would be simple past and eaten. Eaten, okay. Or eaten, okay, like that. Eaten would be the uh, past participle. So simple past is eight, past participle is eaten. Okay, I just noted it now. <laughs> okay, and all right, and uh, number four. Call is called and. Uh -huh. I guess it's called to for the past participle. Uh, yeah, good. So a simple past is called, and past participle is called as well. Okay. All right, uh, numbers five, six, and seven, please. Uh, Andrew. Yeah, sure. Uh, begin, began, begun. Give, uh, gave, given. Good. Answer, answered, answered. Good. So answer and answered. Uh, answered, no. answered, answered. Good, yeah. So not? just uh, five, six, and seven. Thank you. Uh, let's go Thank to uh, uh, Zahara. Let me have you do numbers eight, nine, and ten, please. Okay, wait. See, saw, seen, have, had, had, go, went, gone. Good. Go, went, and gone. Excellent. All right, and, oh, come on, computer. You can do it. There we go. All right, let's go to Jada. Uh, yours are numbers 11, 12, and 13, please. Okay, is study, studied, studied. Good, so study, studied, and studied. Teach, taught, taught. Good. Taught and taught. Make, made, made. Okay, so uh, this one, uh, number number thirteen. Make, make, and make. Yeah. So we uh, uh, would, or sorry, it would be made. Right? Made. Is that? Yeah. So made. He had made. Make. Made. Okay. Make. Made. Made. Good. Good. Thank you. And uh, a number number fourteen. Let me have uh, Nestor. Let me have you do fourteen, please. Okay. Uh, Jorge, can I have you do number fourteen, please? Yeah. It is uh, talk. Talked. And talked. Good. Talked and talked with the ed endings. Excellent job. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and scroll down. All right. So we're going to be filling in this form. Okay. And uh, Jorge, let me have you complete um, the the uh, other the two blanks in the first two. So we have uh, simple past is new. Okay, if simple past is the new, is new, what would be the simple form and the past participle? Uh, that would be no and known. Yeah, so no and known. Okay, and how about uh, met? What would be the simple form and the simple past? Mm, is that meet, met, and met? 
good. Uh, meet, met, and met. Excellent job. All right, let's go to, uh, uh, uh oh, how would I pronounce your name? Is it to Ives? Ivan? Ivan. Ivan. And Ivan, where are you from? Ivan, yeah. Russia. From Russia, okay. And so even though the V and the N are together, you would pronounce that Ivan, right? Uh, I pronounce it even. Uh, it's like nickname. Okay, even. Uh, my right. actual name is Ivan, and uh, surname is Osipenko. Okay. Well, I will stick to your first name because the last name sounds <laughs> okay, difficult. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome, man. Very cool. So, uh, welcome, welcome to class. Now, uh, have you been following along, Ivan? Uh, a little bit. Okay, so do you see that we are on uh, uh, no, letter B uh, here? Well, I, I should tell a uh, simple form past participle of was were. Uh, yes, of simple exactly. past so, was were. Sim uh -huh. Simple form is B. Good. And uh, past participle been. Yes, been. Okay, good. All right, and how about the word fly? If that's our simple form, what would be? S simple past fly and uh, simple past, past uh, uh, flew e flown yes flew and flown excellent okay and how about if uh, our simple past is wrote what would be our simple form and past participle write and wrote okay close close. Now, um, our past participle in this is just a little bit different. Uh, it's actually written, so or written. So, W-R-I-T-T-E-N. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, read, uh, past participle, and uh, simple form is read, uh, uh, simple past red and past participle red yeah very good now the crazy part is that they are all spelled exactly the same yes yes, yes. <laughs> awesome okay well very good job let's go to Keba and uh, Keba let me have you uh, we're gonna do uh, a few of these here and we'll start off with the simple form okay yeah of, of uh, uh -huh. So what would what would the, the uh, simple past and past participle be? Read, read, read. Okay, so that would be read and then read and read. They are spelled exactly mm -hmm. the same, but yeah. they uh, they are they sound different. So the past simple would be pronounced red with a short e, and past participle would be read with a short e as well. Yeah. Okay, now let's uh, let's try this next one here. Uh, that one is live. Okay, in the simple form, live. What would be our simple past and past participle? Live, lift, lift, lift. Good, yeah. So lived and, excuse me, lived. All right, now how about the word yeah. fell? Fall, uh, fell, uh, falling. Good, so fall, fell fallen excellent okay and uh, how about these last three and this is for uh, Effie Effie um, let's start off with the word feel if feel is our simple form what is the simple past and past participle okay um, feel 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 Good. So you had said felt, right? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. okay. And what if our past participle is taken? Taken. Talk. 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 Okay. So. Um, our first one would be take. That would be the uh, simple form, right? All right. Yeah, to take. Okay, good. Whew, I had to think about that for a second. So take, and then our past tense would be took. 
Okay, so let's practice those uh, those pronunciations. So we would say, take, took, taken. Okay. I know. Take, took, take. Good. Okay. Now, how about uh, uh, drove? If drove is our simple past, what would we do here? Drive. Drove, driven. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so class, let's right, scroll so down. Class, and we're going to practice putting these into um, perfect present, or sorry, present perfect tense. I had flipped those around. All right. Remember, when we put words into present perfect tense, we add the words either has or have, okay, depending on the subject, all right, and then the past participle. We just practice changing a lot of words from simple to uh, uh, a simple past into past participle, okay? So we're going to get into these exercises. Now, uh, Bruno, let me have you do numbers one and two, please. In this example, all of the verbs that we are going to use are at the top of the screen. Okay. All right, and I believe we're only using one verb uh, per answer, so each one has a certain verb that we're going to use. Okay, so go ahead and do number one, please. Okay, I met Barbara when we were we were in elementary school. We have known each other for over twenty years. Good. We have known. Okay, excellent. How about number two, please? We have learned new, many new words since we started this course. Excellent. We have learned. Excellent. Okay, how about numbers three and four, please, Andrew? Okay. Uh, I can see it. One second. Number three. Okay. That's a wonderful movie. I've seen it three times. I've seen, I've seen it three times, or I have seen it, yeah? Yeah, so either I've seen it three times or I have. Yeah, yeah, but spoken form is I've. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And number four, please. Uh, number four, Mr. and Mrs. Toner, I would say, uh, have gotten married for ten years. But God, is there a God? Uh, there is not a God. So when when we marry, all right, we uh, we uh, we do say get married, okay? Yeah. But um, when we're talking about them, uh, them, uh, um, so we we talk about getting married. So that that would be like more in the future. So I'm going to get married, or I got married last week. Okay, that's how we would use that. But if we're talking about a space of time, we actually mm -hmm. use the verb to be because now to we're talking be. about the state. Okay, the state then, of someone. So how okay, would we say that? Mr. and Mrs. Stoner have been married for 10 years. Good. So have been married for 10 years. Excellent. All right, how about numbers 5 and 6? Uh, this is for, uh, let me get back. Uh, this is for uh, Zahara. Numbers five and six, please. Okay. You are late. The class have already begun. Robert is my neighbor. Uh, he, 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 okay. He have lived uh, next door to me five years. That's okay. okay. All right, good job with the past participle, but we need to take a look at our conjugation of the verb to have. All right, now, when we are talking about the class, is this third person, second person, or first person? Oh, sorry, has. The class has good. already been. Yeah. Okay, and this would be, uh, has already begun. He has, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. All right, so yes, and then he has lived. Yeah. yeah, he has lived. Okay, good, good. All right, so numbers seven and eight. This is for 
uh, Java. Right, um, seven. Mary has written several letters to her parents since she left home. Good, nice job. Number eight. We have eaten in that restaurant several times. Okay, and that word would be eaten with the accent at the very beginning, eaten. We have eaten in the restaurant several times. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you want to make sure that you are saying eaten instead of eaten uh, because then uh, they would not be able to understand you very well because there's not another word that is pronounced eaten. Okay? So make sure that okay. when you pronounce that word, the accent or the stress is on the E sound. Okay? Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to numbers 9 and 10, and this is for uh, Nestor. Uh, yes. Uh, 9 and 10. Uh, mm, our teacher mm, uh, has, mm, has given us a lot of help with the homework assignment. Good, and that last word would be assignment. Assign. Assignment. Uh -huh. Okay, Good. assignment. Um, uh, what is the meaning of landlord in the sentence ten? To hear landlord. A uh, landlord is the person that owns either an apartment or a house and is renting it to you. Ah, okay. Um, given right. Uh, right. uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, she has spoken to her landlord many times about the broken window. Perfect. She has ah, okay. spoken. Spoken, yeah, yes. Because uh, he or she, uh, whoever that landlord is, uh, he or she, um, would be the one to uh, pay to fix the window, right? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so uh, numbers uh, 11 and 12. This is for Jorge. She... Okay, 11. We have a new camera. We have taken some beautiful pictures of the grandchildren. Good. We have taken. Excellent. How about number 12? 12. They, they have done all their homework already. So uh, let's see. They have done all their homework already. Good. All right. How about numbers 13 and 14? Uh, this is for, uh, let's see. Now, Jorge, you just went, so it's uh, Ivan. OK. Uh, 13 and 14. Uh, yes, please. Uh, Miss uh, Miss Baxter, uh, he, have uh, uh, have uh, is uh, Miss Baxter third, second, or first person? Uh, third. All has, right. So there you uh, go. Has uh, has. Uh, um, uh, Eat ten. Eaten all her groceries for the week. Okay, well, uh, we've already used eaten when we were talking about the restaurant. Okay, so um, mm. already blank her groceries for the week. Uh, do you usually buy your gr uh, groceries all at one time or uh, um, every day? Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. I didn't see it. Bye. Uh, Miss Baxter has uh, uh, bought all her groceries for the week. Cool. Okay, good, good. All right, and uh, let's see number 14, please. Uh, Tommy. Uh, have uh, had uh, a bad cold for two weeks. Okay, so has had. Uh, has, a bad cold. has had, yes, sorry. 
Good. No, you're doing fine. No worries. No worries, man. English English is a is a confusing, confusing beast of a language. All right. It would I would have more trouble learning your language uh, than you learning English. Okay. So don't don't worry. No need to apologize. You're doing just fine, man. Okay. okay. All right. Let's let's go to uh, Keba. Uh, let me have you do numbers 15 and 16, please. Frank uh, has worked for that company for many years. Good, yes. Has worked. Remember that ED ending is a T sound. Worked. Worked. Um, after three months of looking, she, uh, she has had a beautiful apartment to rent. Uh, let's see what our choices would be. Oh, how about uh, um, how about this verb right here? Do you see that verb that I've highlighted? Find, no. find, find yeah. to find. How how would we? Uh, what would be the past participle for find? I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, class, uh, can we uh, can we help her out? Yeah. Found. <laughs> Found. <laughs> Found. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's throw that into the sentence. After three months of looking, she has found a beautiful apartment to rent. Okay, good, good. Now, uh, Bruno. Uh, uh, you said, okay, Frank, did I say had worked? I don't know, I, maybe I misunderstand it. Has? Frank has maybe. worked. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. yeah, because it should be Frank has, I, I would say, uh, speaking normally, I would say Frank has worked. So it's more of a is, Frank has, Frank has worked okay. uh, for that company. And I would, I would you, you may have heard a D, but yeah. yeah May, may, maybe not because uh, because uh, I was just I may have been speaking normally, but yeah, yeah if, if I did, but this is this is the thing I make mistakes I make mistakes uh, and I'm uh, I'm human so if I do make a mistake, uh, you can go ahead and tell me. But uh, yeah, some sometimes I do. Not perfect. It's okay. No, it's okay. maybe <laughs> I I did understand it wrong. It's like 3 a.m. here. Yeah, no worries, no worries, man. Uh, I've been I've been caught on mistakes before. Um, uh, one of my students that usually comes to class is uh, Inga, and I think she's caught me twice. Where I'd be like, "Wait a minute, are you sure?" And I was like, "This is how it should be." And then uh, I go down and check the answers. Like, nope, you're right, Inga. <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes when I'm well, when I'm talking uh, talking normally. Uh, with people, uh, there are plenty of times when I use uh, incorrect grammar. Okay, though I know the grammar rules and I teach them. There's times when I when I talk and I don't speak properly, and so I do get confused sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go to let's see where we're at. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's scroll down to our next page, and we're going to be doing uh, the same thing, except for we are going to use them in the negative. All right. So, who did we leave off with? Uh, Keba, yeah, you, you went last. Okay. So, uh, Bruno, let me have you do numbers one and two, please. Okay. Matthew is waiting on the corner for his girl girlfriend, but she hasn't arrived yet. Good. So, hasn't or has not. Okay. More than likely, we would say hasn't. All right. How about number two? Uh. Okay, my brother lives in a different country. I haven't seen him for two years. Good, I haven't seen him. Excellent. All right, numbers three and four, please, Andrew. Okay, number three and four. Ellie and Bill got a divorce five years ago. Yeah, this one. Yep. Uh huh. That one. Mm -hmm. They got a okay. They got a divorce five years ago. Um, I would say they have lived. He no, 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 no. Stop speaking while we see. 
they haven't seen to each other since then. Okay, so um, if we didn't have the word two okay. here, okay, okay, C, okay. C I, I would see. work perfectly. But Th they haven't spoken to each other since then. It would be awesome. better. Awesome, yeah? bingo, that's it, man. <laughs> nice. How about number four? Okay, okay. it's only eight forty-five. The class, uh, the class hasn't started yet, or the class hasn't begun yet. Good. Yeah. So um, more than likely, we would say started, but uh, we don't have the option to say started. So we would say began. The class hasn't began yet, um, or begun. Sorry, begun yet. Um, begun. Number. Yeah. Numbers five and six. Yeah. So yes, I am sleepy. Uh, numbers five and uh, <laughs> numbers five and six. This is for Zahara. Okay, yeah. Uh, where? Uh, okay, it is uh, started to snow last night, and it is it still hasn't fair stopped. There you uh, go. She, uh, she has finally decided which car she wants, but she uh, hasn't. Uh, I think bought. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, on on this word, instead of saying Bau, and pronouncing that U, we would say okay, ba. ba, just an ah sound, bot. Bot. Good, excellent. Okay, and uh, Diada, let me have you do numbers seven and eight, please. I heard that the movie at the Roxy Theater is great, but I haven't. I'm not sure. Seen? Yeah, seen? We ha I yeah. haven't seen seen it. Yeah. Okay. I bought a newspaper today, but I still haven't read read it. Okay, I haven't read it. Good. All right, let's see. Let's do our last two here. And this is for uh, Nestor. Uh, please do numbers 9 and 10, please. Okay. Uh, he took his car to the service station yesterday, but they haven't fixed, fixed it yet. Yeah, they haven't fixed. Okay, fixed. Gonna, yeah, there you go. Fixed it yet. Fix it yet. And uh, the Anderson moved out of New York ten years ago, and they haven't been back to the city since then. Good, they haven't been back. Excellent job. Okay, you guys. All right, so we are at the end of of class. Thank you so so very much for uh, coming and uh, hanging out with me, uh, answering questions, doing some reading. We also uh, uh, ended things up with a with a, a good grammar class. You got you all did it very well. All right, and <clears throat> excellent job with the practices as well. Um, now, if you have, uh, I'm trying to see if I can pull up my. Uh, Verbling uh -huh. Teacher Facebook page. Hey, uh, yeah, you have a question? question. Yep. Sure, it's what's up? Voc uh, vocabulary, can I ask you? Sure, yeah, go for it. Uh, what's the difference between uh, baggage and luggage? Uh, there is no difference. Uh, we, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can use either. Uh, I'm sure a long time ago there was sort of a, there was a difference. Um, but I need to pick up my baggage. We we have it's it's more often it, uses most, luggage on airports, I guess. I'm not I, sure. I, I guess. Uh, in in honestly, in in honesty, we never say baggage. We never say luggage. We say bags. Okay. <laughs> That's so what we say. We gotta. Both? <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why they try and they try and teach both. But we uh, we we just. Uh, we know the words. Like to, when we go pick up our bags. Like let's say uh, I was going to visit you, okay, uh, in Brazil, all right? And uh, I, I would say, hey, um, hey, Bruno, hold on one second. I need to go to baggage claim. So baggage claim to pick up my bags. 
<laughs> so I would I wouldn't say baggage. I would say yes, we call that baggage claim. It's not called luggage claim, but baggage claim. Okay, okay. to pick up my bags, and I and it we call those bags, or or we say suitcases. That that would be the uh, the other uh, the other way that we would call that. But if you say bags, everyone knows what you're talking about. Okay, okay. you know, uh, and uh, luggage. Yeah, no one really says that anymore. Uh, you may hear that in uh, in Europe, maybe in Canada, but uh, other Canada, than that, yeah. we we say uh, we say bags. Okay. Cool. Any okay, any any other questions? No. All right, you guys.